Hi everybody, Sven Antinovich again, and welcome to another talk with a technology expert here for your CIS 101 class. Today I am talking to Dr. Mir Mirkea Kapayan. Mm -hmm. She is a PACE alum. She got her master's as well as her PhD at PACE. She teaches at PACE, and now she works as a project manager for Mercedes-Benz. So before I go into any further detail. I'll just let her do it and introduce herself. Mikaya, welcome. Thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here and thank you for doing this interview for the students. Um, so you heard him, right? I'm an alum from Pace University. Uh, I work right now for Mercedes-Benz and the corporate headquarters here in Atlanta. So I'm in Atlanta right now. Um, definitely um, what I do at Mercedes-Benz for short is as a project manager. And also, I have a small team that is responsible for doing uh, enterprise testing. So for you guys that love testing, I'm your person. And, um, and basically, um, aside from that, you know, I manage different projects and I do training as well. Um, yes, what else? I also teach a PACE, CIS 101, which is one of my favorite courses. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, that is really something. And how do you think that um, learning technology got you to this position that you're in? Right, if you could just kind of mm -hmm. tie in your education at PACE and CIS 101 and to, if you could tie that into what you do at Mercedes-Benz. Okay, so basically, uh, as, as you heard from the beginning, right? So I attend the PACE University. I, I obtained my uh, master's in information system from PACE and also my doctorate as well. And one of the things when I graduated from Pace, I didn't have, you know, I was I was inexperienced. I didn't have any, basically just the skills that I had learned during my master's degree. Um, I was hired by a consulting firm uh, as a consultant. Uh, they kind of trained me in two weeks, I remember. Um, I started doing something that I wasn't really, I didn't learn at, at the school, which was to be a technical writer. Nothing to do with having a, a, a master's in information systems. And then after that, I was moving on to, to different tasks uh, at the company and uh, um, doing you know, web design, which I didn't learn in school either. So I have to teach it myself. Uh, and later I ended up just doing testing, which I didn't like. And I really, really hated it. Um, soon after that, um, I decided after working for this uh, consulting firm, Captain and I, I was uh, I decided to move on and, and decided to to work for Mercedes Benz. Uh, Mercedes Benz, I continued doing some of the stuff that I was doing for for um, Captain and I. Uh, but right now, uh, my passion is testing. Uh, believe it or not, that's why you say when you hate something, be careful because you may end up loving it. And that's what happened to me. Now with CIS 101, um, one of the things that I see useful for what I do now every day is mostly um, how I use a spreadsheet. I'm always doing either reports and doing analysis, it's, which is very important. Um, also presentations, right? I have to do presentations uh, for management or for my teams or when there is a training or a demo. Um, aside from that, uh, as well, you know, using Microsoft Word, which you guys already use that most of the time when you have to do write-up. Uh, and I think it's important in, in how you learn all these things. Again, you never know when you're going to need them. And, and this is where, you know, CIA, CIS 101 will give you, I would say, a taste a little bit of what these things are, uh, especially if you think that you know it has nothing to do with your major, that you don't need to know it. Believe me, I've been there. I understand, and but that's not the case. You will realize that that's not the case, and the reason for that is that today you are here, tomorrow you're going to be over there, and you never know what's going to happen. Especially now with the way how are things going with COVID nineteen. And um, more than ever, more than ever, you need to know more in instead of less. Yeah, I, I'm really glad you mentioned that and how you tied your experience with technology into how the students can use it in their CIS class. And mm -hmm. what I think is the most important part of what you just said is that you never know 
-hmm. what you're going to need, right? You didn't learn web development in, or web design in school no. and you ended up needing it. Exactly. And, and now students are being offered the tools that mm -hmm. they think they might not need, but it's right there for them. And mm -hmm. there's, it can only do them better if they learn them and use them for regardless of their field, because not all of these students are CS majors. Yes. That you can use this technology for so many different things. Exactly. And just to add on to that, when we're talking about HTML, for example, right? Um, students now can use that to create a resume, right? They can create websites as samples and use that as, as the portfolio to show, right? Hey, aside from being, an, an, let's say, a history major, aside from being an arts major, guess what? I can also do web design. So that's something extra. And I think that makes you um, like different from other applicants, especially now that we have so many people being unemployed. You have to make yourself unique in a sense. Uh, and that's what's going to make you different from the rest, right? Is what you have in, in, your, in your toolbox, right? The skill sets that you acquire throughout the class and, and, through, and throughout their career phase. Yeah, um, thank you so much for this wonderful advice, Dr. Kapan, that you just gave to the students. Um, yeah, I'm going to let you get on with your work. And to the students, thank you for listening. We'll be back more with some more conversations with technology experts. Good luck. Okay. <laughs>